started recording. Uh, episode name is The Inside Job. That sounds about right, considering what we just did. Or Roll going to do, Or are going to do. Yeah, I guess a little bit of both. Because you're still, you're still en route to the rendezvous point. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, we're in the tiny ship. You're in the mm -hmm. shuttlecraft, which is still up on the chat, if you still want to see it. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Or, that's oh. an example. So trying very hard to uh, keep our crap together. Right, I'm in a wheelchair. Yep. I have a burrito. I've got a I've got a rifle stuck stuck in my wheelchair, basically. As we are going to try and act as if we are the two lower ranking ensigns that went along with O'Donovan. Mm -hmm. O'Donald. On his saboteur. Travis. Oh, Oda O'Donnell. Oh. Travis O'Donnell. I'm gonna keep calling it. O'Donovan. Just ah, it's so much more common. All right, O'Donnell. I mean, maybe it's not. Actually, I may have just insulted a whole group of people. Last name O'Donnell. Anyway. Way to go. But yeah, Travis's Travis's team. Um. Uh, anything you want to do? With the bomb, our communicator. Um, I think one of the last things I did was practice shooting from the wheelchair. So mm -hmm. I think we were saying that there won't, that just means there won't be a penalty. Or did I fail that last week? I think you might have failed that last week. I think I might have failed that. So I'll still have a slight penalty. Okay. Um, and then you had the bomb triggered on your comm badge. Mm -hmm. Do you want a second? Do you want like a delay or do you want it to be immediate? Uh, um, can I program in a five second delay? Five seconds. If any, if any delay, make it like 30. I will shall I shall program in a thirty second delay. Yeah, there's no point to a five second delay. At least with thirty, it could be the type of thing of like we press and get thirty seconds away from the explosion. Five seconds away is uh, it is a bit much. It'd be very little, it unless bit, we were yeah. like leaving and then blowing it up, and then that would be. Yeah. I mean, that's what I was going for. I was going for the whole cool guys don't look at explosions thing. Cool guys don't look at explosions. I mean, yeah. that's true. Also, is this okay. like? This is a bomb that's literally sitting in the compartment, or did you actually rig something inside of the circuitry? I think we were saying that he rigged the ship. Oh. Yeah. So, this this ship cannot be the same ship you come out with. Anyway. Well, it can be, but goddamn, we have to do a lot of work. Yeah, it'd be a bit complicated. Anyway, so, we start off from last week, where you are on your way to the rendezvous point. I, if you want to do anything before we start... Anything at mm. all? I mean, I got my burrito. I'm pretty, pretty content. You lot happy last meal? Happy last meal. Mm -hmm. I guess at this, I guess at this point, my guy's just in a wheelchair, and so I'm just like, like, in a wheelchair, rolling around in the back, just kind of like. Are you doing donuts and crap? Well, I was thinking I'm too short to actually reach to reach the replicator. <laughs> you know, this stuff is not OSHA friendly. Uh, don't you mean ADA friendly, Mr. George? Why do we have either of these things a thousand years in the future? That's a good question, Mr. George. I believe we are uh, touching what is known as the fourth wall in most modern concepts. Uh, so, it takes. Uh, fuck, you're ready to. So, it takes 18 hours to get to the. I'm pretty sure we taught said it was one of Uranus's moons, if it had any. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm just gonna Uranus gained a moon in a thousand years, and yeah. Hmm. So. So after the 18 hours of this, you guys bullshitting. Uh, you. I like to think we can make that happen. <laughs> I probably sleep for a couple of those. Fuck that. Acknowledged. All right, not, so. like I, not like I don't like, like you, Tobias, but nah, rest is good for the soul, especially when going on a suicide mission where we're going to need our wits. Mm, indeed, indeed. Actually, wait, real question. Like, we're going to break a wall moment. Do either of these species really sleep? Uh, Vulcans can get away with sleeping very little. 
I don't know about Tellarites. Tellarites. Hmm. Ah, just curious. Hmm. Anyway, uh, you guys reached the rendezvous point, and you are being hailed by an unknown source. Beep, 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 beep. I patch it through. Uh, welcome back. Uh, uh, there, uh, in front of you, there is a gentleman, mirror versed uh, uniform. Here, I will bring up another picture of it just in case you guys forgot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um he he's uh looking at you guys and he's like uh please re please report uh did your were you successful in your mission? And he looks ar he s looks around and where is uh Lieutenant Commander O'Donnell? So I'm just gonna remember how I said I was sleeping? I'll have my character just kind of like uncomfortably passed out in a wheelchair in the background. <laughs> so it's so it's just to buy, uh So it's so it's yeah, it's it's, it's just, just to buy us. Uh, um, that is a fantastic question there, sir. Uh perhaps you should uh be asking Mr. George when he wakes up. I uh believe he will be able to provide you with all the requisite and answers that you seek. Who's Mr. George? Uh I'm sorry. I totally was not paying attention to where we were. God damn it, Jeff. My bad. So, sorry, give me the TLDR. <laughs> Alright. So, their their ship just calmed us. Yeah. Yeah, and they're Oh, going... we're trying to we're trying to pass off as mirror universe. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. The inside job. It's, it's been a fine. long week, Kyle. It's I, been a I, very I long week. said it earlier. We're sneaking on. Yeah, that's us, yeah, dude. Sorry. Okay. Take two. Uh, uh, forgive me, sir. Uh, Mr. O'Donnell uh, seems to have caught up a bit of uh, bad replicator food poisoning, if you know what I mean. He's uh, going to be indisposed for quite a while. Uh, okay. Roll. Hold up. Roll. I'm going to talk to my colleague in gaming. He's dead! Just say he's dead! <laughs> You know what, man? Maybe I prefer to talk about a man being uncomfortably in the restroom right now. Where they will check and never find him! Precisely, sir. Precisely. Uh, please roll a, uh... Command and... Command and I'm trying to think. Okay. Hmm. Wasn't sure if you would just presence, cut out. Presence, I guess. Command and presence. Difficulty. Two. Okay. Then I guess I guess diary is a possibility. I already used that. Uh, uh, that is a success and a fail. Okay. He is, he gives you a look and it's like okay uh well report on how your mission went as, uh. as, this, as this happens I I'm just going to like because I'm not I don't know that I'm actually asleep back there just kind of like playing it off I just wake up in a panic flailing my arms I took my fucking leg and they killed O'Donnell! Somebody! I, and I just pass back out. Uh, you you must forgive me, sir. Uh, uh, one of our uh, crewmates here suffered a, a pretty major, major uh, concussion. 
and uh, thus is uh, going to be needing some medical assistance. I, I, I alert back up. I don't even have my legs! And I go back down. <laughs> okay. Uh, he... He's like, oh, um... Okay, Jeff, uh... never, never try to lie in your life, for the love of God. Nope. This is totally outside my box. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like... He, 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 he generally looks perplexed. Just so confused sir, at the moment. For, forgive me, sir. Tell you, tell you what. When we come on board, we'll explain everything. I'm sure this is a, a common, just a, a miscommunication amongst us all. It's like, okay. Uh, you're clear to dock. Uh, fantastic. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. <laughs> and I immediately hang up comms. <laughs> As I as he hangs up, I just kind of I like, would say he, I, I, I like peek over. I like oh, to he, say that he also looked very suspicious, <laughs> plus being perplexed. Mm -hmm. After I hang up comms, I look over at Mister at, at uh, George and give him like the cheesiest thumbs up grin and a wink. Tobias, I think you just screwed the pooch. Is that how they say it, or is it screwed the cat? Whatever. Don't worry, Mr. George. I uh, have full confidence in your abilities to get us through any any uh, negotiations we need to make here today. I. Uh, uh... So uh, you see, you see the. <clears throat> Wait, would that work? You see the ship, the USS Ares, decloak, literally on top of you. Hmm. So, if you guys want to proceed to dock into the ship, bring her in nice and gently. Are we are we docking around other ships? Um, it's a pretty small like war vessel, so I would say uh, maybe like one or two. One or two. Okay. So I like to, uh, I think you parked it in the center. Between two ship, two other uh, shuttlecrafts. As you dock, uh, I would like you to roll a uh... God damn it, what is it? Uh, security plus... Security pres plus presence. Difficulty? Um... I'm gonna say one. One success, one critical success. Ooh, oh, I should get some sort of paper so I keep track of this. So you uh, we started. Two? We started at three, right? Uh, three. yeah. So we have five. Yeah, five so far. Mm hmm. Uh, Kyle, I also need you to make the same roll. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mm hmm. It was security and presence. Difficulty of one. I have a success and a fail. Cool. It's very fucking obvious. Uh, there are mirror universe people. It look like they're uh, coming out to meet you. Awesome. They, they have weapons drawn. Uh, uh, I, 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 I kind of guess. Uh, Catch a glance of of George and just like, uh, is it, now is now the time that we do the thing? It's tempting, but we should probably consider our option. Does this craft have any weapons on it? What do you mean by like, like the shuttle crafts? Shuttle crafts? Yeah. Do they have any weapons? 
at all? They're 100 percent non non militarized, or do they have? Like... Uh, I would say fa like, you have a phaser bank. Hmm. We have we have probably a couple. We have probably have like thirty seconds till we get here or something, right? Mm hmm. Tobias, we have two options, three options. Here's our three. Hmm. We shoot the phasers. We try to kill all of them with one blast, and then we have to run and gun this whole thing. And I'm in a wheelchair. Two. Uh, we try and lie to them. And go with the, I need medical, because somebody here obviously gave away that I have a concussion. Let me do the talking as you just run past them with me in a wheelchair, screaming and bleeding. Hmm. Or three, we start the detonation of the bomb, maybe shoot the phasers, and try and get to another ship. Uh, well, Mr. Josh, uh, how loud do you think you can produce uh, from your... How, how loud of a sound do you think you can produce from your lung? I could do a pretty good job. Do you think you could imitate a screaming madman? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm sure you have experience. Carry on. It's my day-to-day. -day. So, so which one should we do? Uh, personally, I, I think that if we can somehow get acquire ourselves a ship in the fastest way possible and uh, begin that detonation sequence. We have just enough time to where I can fire up the engines and get us out of here before any real damage is caused to our person or location. How many people, Mike? Uh, there are three. Looks like security. Mm, security will kick our ass. <laughs> well, I mean security, it's basically the same people you've been fighting... Same like same stats wise, it's just they look like security officers. Mm -hmm. Also, if we fire a shot off, we are immediately going to be in it, the largest firefight of our lives. Yeah, no, I know. This is why I'm saying if we shot it from the phaser banks, we could probably use that. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know how aiming works in Star Trek in that way. Well, assume that I could hit them, Mike. What? Like, would it be possible to do so? Use the phasers indoors to hit a group of people. Uh, I was, I think I, I'll say that you get one shot before the sh the ship like the internal ship's internals like dampen your weapons, so you have one mm. shot. I guess we're gonna go for that shot because we didn't lie well, and I don't know that we're gonna be able to. So yeah, fuck it, let's do it. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's. Um. So what we're going for the. Well, what you, we're we're going to shoot first, detonate yep. the bomb, yep. run to the other ship. Yep. Cool. Yep. Oh, right, so it would be a. I'll, I'll do the firing, I guess. I will do the ship acquiring. Well, we should probably wait until we fired first. Perhaps. Unless you, unless you want. Well, no. I'm yeah, thinking so. we can probably go simultaneously, though. Yeah, we, yeah, let's do that. Control security. Control security? Cool. What difficulty? Three, <laughs> since you're firing it indoors. Okay. I have a focus in transporter small crafts. Which would be this. Uh, it is. Okay. It is. And we have five momentum. I'm using all of them. Do Give it. myself three more dice. Yep. So difficulty's two now, or do we get an extra dice? Um. Well, you it's a fo Is your thing a focus or a focus? Okay, that makes your crit range uh to whatever discipline I tell you your role is. I think so, I said security. So if it's security, it's the number I have for security. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And then. Right, we're we're rolling five dice then. Okay. I got a crit success, a two. Woots. So there's there's two of them. I got a five, which is success. So we're already going. Seven, which is another success. Six, which is another success. What the fuck? Uh, how many more rolls do I need? One more. Fifteen. 
That is a failure by one. So, yeah. so one, two, three, four, five. Five successes. Right. <clears throat> and since it's five successes and two over, we get two momentum back. What? Then, uh, Feeder <laughs> Banks will be the security plus. Hmm? Wait, what? You're firing the ship's the shuttlecraft sailors, right? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what damage you have to roll. Oh, oh, gotcha. Well, do, I don't know that they're going to have any way of telling damage for a vehicle-type weapon to a non-vehicle thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. No! No, they're different. No, uh, same thing. Mike, those aren't regular phasers. Just upscaled. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're upscaled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know that there's damage telling. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's scale plus security. Um, I would like to think your ship is... Busy scale one, since it's a solar craft. Security is probably one, two. So, I guess roll two of the. two of the damage dice. Mike, I'd rather have shot them if that's the case. I mean, four, whatever. Like, I don't I mean, know. I can do two, but it, that's what I'm saying, it's a weird one. Hmm. All right, so rolling two, I did two damage. Rolling four, I did two damage. I rolled, I, I rolled like uh, two, three, four, four. Oh, it's kind of... So, uh, as you took aim, uh, since you're firing at doors, it little off and it skims them. That doesn't make any sense. I rolled a five for, da for hits. That just didn't damage them. They just took it. They're disintegrated. Are you happy? No, 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 no. I don't want to ruin it, but I'm just saying, like, this... There's no, no, that's not, they don't have to be disintegrated. No, no, no. No, I can miss, I can miss, it's fine. No, I don't know what to do for this. The book doesn't tell me. <laughs> what happens when you fire weapon? The <laughs> one big gripe I have against this fucking system is not, it's very nondescriptive about a lot of things. No, I know. I mean, okay. Are they actually at us, or are they close to us? Like, are they on their way to us? You know what, just re-roll dice, just roll like 10, 10 of the damage <laughs> dice. I don't fucking care at this point. Booyah. I, I'm gonna laugh at this. Oh, let's find out. Oh, no, 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 I, don't, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do 10 of the dice, not a modifier of 10. 50. <laughs> Okay, well that one that one surprisingly would hurt them, I think. Five, six, five, five, three, so zero. One one six six or six five three. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage, one, two, three or sorry, one no wait, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six effect. So, 8 damage, right? Yeah, and 6 effect. You, you literally, like... It, it, like, you, you hit him dead on, and it goes... And... They just, they just drop. <laughs> they're not dead... And they're not unconscious, but dear God, they're in so much pain. <laughs> That's kind of what I 
expected to be honest. I mean, because you're doing a ship size phaser beam against. Yeah, it's kind of when you're like the damage is the same. I'm like, how? The beam is the size of a cannon. I actually think in this show, if you look at like the size of the beam, it's like, it's it's like legitimately the size of a World War II cannon. Like one of the large like battery complexes. This is also why I wanted to ask beforehand if I'm allowed to do that. Yeah, I don't see why not. I, no, I get it, but it. You, it's one of those things you could have said we don't have weapons. But I'll sort of cut the weapons. Oh, do they? Okay. I don't know. I don't know if shuttles didn't. All right. No, it's defenseless. Oh, okay. Not in a, like a floating coffin. I thought they were pretty defenseless, to be honest. I thought they were like the end of like the last Jedi. Alright, no spoiler alerts. Alright, so I'm guessing at the same time, as I fired this shot, Tobias is just gonna run? For the other one? Sure. Okay. You got... You... You get off your ship and immediately board one of their ships. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Uh, please roll a con and control. Con and control. Difficulty? Two. I'm going to burn a momentum. Okay. okay. So give me a third dice, um, and then uh, can I use the talent? I know my ship. It's not your ship. Right. Yeah. Dang it. I All was right. gonna ask, what is he trying to do? Uh, I'm gonna try to get in, turn it on, get it ready to go, so that we can, you know, go. Mm -hmm. No, I, I meant more in the sense of like what your current action is, so as to make sure you're not missing a talent that would help. Ah, uh, I don't think so. Quick to action. Nah, that's about it. Computer expertise. No. Nah. Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't know. I'll just roll it. Three dice, difficulty two. That is a crit success, a fail, and a... Uh, said control and con. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's also a fail. So it's a crit success, which counts for two. So I do okay. succeed. Okay, well, you figured out how their ships work, which is kind of similar to your ships, surprisingly. Surprisingly enough? It's not like it's almost the exact same thing, but... <laughs> it's just backwards. It's, it's, just... it's... Yeah, it's the mirror. It's, it's the right hand. Backwards. It's the right hand side car of uh, of this. <laughs> I was thinking like inverted controls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so what is George doing now? I'm wheeling my ass over to the other ship. You, as are you fast still? As I can. Are you still committed to the wheelchair? I. So one of the things we talked to with the doctor was that he put prosthetics to make it look like my legs were blown off, didn't we? I don't know that I can walk on those. Oh. Yeah. I guess that is a mm. thing. It is a bit of a thing. Okay. Somebody so. forgot and said I was concussed. And so plan B became plan A. Very yep. fast. Okay. So, uh... You are both on the sh other shuttle. And you have it all stirred up. I'm guessing we're gonna boop the button? Yep. Boop the button. shuttle bay Commence doors are closed. Mm. Uh, can I blast them open? Hmm. You know how I said that you got one shot? Yeah. But that was on the other ship. 
Yeah, well, that was a da damping field in here. Mm. Why would it dampen their ship? It dampens. Why would it dampen from the inside? <laughs> well, no, that makes sense actually. The dampening field thing makes sense because mm. they could probably just like make it so that the whole thing. Hmm. Hmm. There's another ship in here, right? Yes. Tobias. Aye. We, we need to get those shuttle bay doors open. Yes. Yes, we do. I can probably set... you. Would it be possible for you to get the other ship up and running and set it in such a way that it'll ram the hangar doors? Uh, it's, it's possible, but I, uh, don't you think it might be easier for us to just simply uh, technologically force open the doors? We, the dampening field, would that, would that affect our ability to do that? Would, damp, would dampening affect our ability to do that? Uh, I mean, I was thinking uh, we I mean, just hack I it. Don't, I, don't, I don't know what dampening fields do. Can we just hack it? <laughs> Pretty much. The dampening field just inhibits weapon fire. Oh, 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 okay. I thought it was just, like, electricity in general. I was actually kind of concerned how the ships were running. Anywho. So, Mike, can I just hack it to get the the bays up, the doors open? Uh, you can try. Okay. I say engineering and... Daring because you're pressed for time. Okay. Uh, I'd like to burn our. How many momentum do we have right now? Uh... In theory, you got a crit success, but that mm -hmm. didn't over succeed us, so I think we only have one. One. Okay. I'd like to burn that final momentum to get us out of here. The penalty uh... is. Four. Okay, I'd like to use my focusing computers and my talent and computer expertise to boost my hacking abilities. Okay. Making it so that I am rolling a total of, is it five dice for uh, difficulty four? Um, oh, yeah. Well, you'd be rolling one additional, and then I think your talent gives you an additional die, and then your right. crit range is larger if you focus. That's yeah. what it is. Okay. So you would have four dice with a crit range equal to whatever your discipline is you're using on this. My engineering skill. Okay, cool. So, so I'm rolling four dice for f a four success. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. So that is a fail, a crit success, uh, and two fails. Dang it. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Yes. Daring. Engineering. Yes. One crit success. Three fails. I'm not able to hack the planet. Uh you they they You're getting a feeling that they uh they they know you're on the ship now. And, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. have beefed up <laughs> security. <laughs> and have beefed uh, up security. Uh Mr. George, what was that plan B that you had prepped there? This was Plan B! You got a Plan C, sir? I'm just gonna stare at him with the most angered expression that a Tellerite can use, even though it looks like I wear a mask in the show. Like, just... just pissed. Uh, over the intercoms, you now hear, uh, you hear a voice saying, Oh, it's fancy, it's fancy seeing you guys here. You know what? I remember, I remember our last Hold meeting. On. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Yes. No, no, you, you, you go on your monologue. I just thought of something. I have to read something. Uh, I apologize for that. That was so, me actually coming to a realization in my head. Wow. 
What do you guys think you'll accomplish by coming here? I think... I have my men stand down so I can have a meeting with you guys. If you like to come to the bridge. Mm. And comms went out. Mr. Josh, do we uh do we take them up on this offer? Sounds like uh sounds like someone you haven't heard from in a while it is the mm. one it is the only Commander Jonathan Strahd. Um, so, what did you guys plan? I mean, I think we ought to go to this meeting, but I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, Kyle, who are Reading. you? Yeah. Can we jam the signal for the dampener? Uh, it is possible. One. This is why I'm. This is one of the things I was reading into. I was thinking about ramming speed. By the way. Oh, that could work too. I feel like I feel like because I read how ramming speed works. If you read it, Mike, it, it can't work. Oh. Like it could. It won't. Like, zero percent chance of success. He might as well give you a difficulty of ten. Because it inflicts it only inflicts damage based on your size versus the size of what you're doing. Mm. So it deals damage equal to two plus ramming ship scale. So our scale is one, so it would be three damage. With spread and vicious and devastating quality, however, the ship will also suffer a number of damage equal to the target scale. I'm assuming that this thing's like a 700 if we're a freaking one. So... Mm. I'm gonna go with that one. That would, that would actually not work. Uh, I would say it would be what the, you said scale. It'd probably be a scale three, probably. Scaling's weird. I don't know. This... Uh, your your normal ship is a scale of four. This one's slightly smaller. And this ship is slightly smaller. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like I said, scaling's weird. Like it's, it's not. Weird. It's, it's nothing to do with you. It's just every yeah. It's fact. So, Tobias, we can jam the signal and try and get ourselves out of there. Or is this thing equipped with a transporter? Uh, that is actually a very good question, sir. I mean, yours is. Theirs mm -hmm. isn't. Uh, no, it seems like a generic ship. Like, like doesn't have much in it. Would it be possible that we could transport ourselves back onto our ship, like? From from our our, no, small, our no, shuttlecraft, no, no. the, the distance the between the will... distance between these would be way too far. I think. Yeah. Okay, Connor. Yeah, because yeah, if we're because guys... uh, we said go to Earth, we're near. Yeah, yep. you're right. Tune. Uranus. Uh, I I would. Uranus. I would say the difficulty would be five, since so you're attempting mm. trans warp, a uh, trans. Uh, <laughs> Some impossible beaming. ass feat. <laughs> like, I know it's no, it's, it's 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 possible. It's just <laughs> incredibly difficult and unlikely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's improbable. Like they did it in Star Trek movie, but yeah. What what with I what guess you're the challenge. With... I don't know what this ship has. He is. Could you could you give me a rundown of what the ship has, Mike? What your shuttlecraft <laughs> or their shuttlecraft? No, not... Uh, well, we're currently on. I'll take Stolen. both, actually, because hmm. I don't know either of them at all. So yours is like, do do we have probes? 
Well, on your shuttlecraft, no. Okay. So it's just gener generic, like, you have a beam weapon, they have a beam weapon. Um, Ours has a teleporter, theirs doesn't. Yeah. Okay. So yours is slightly more advanced than theirs. Generally, most men. Work pods to small per. I should be back in like 10 seconds. Okay. I guess we have a chance to read. Oh. Oh, that would have been good to know. Well. Ah. What? What'd you find? Small craft may not enter or leave a shuttle bay while the star shield while the starship shields are up. Oh, Back. so you guys couldn't leave even if you wanted to try to. Which means mm -hmm. I wouldn't have shot anybody. Mm -hmm. All right, we're committing to the shot. Okay, let's commit to the shot. Wait, what are you coming to? So, I... Can we try to... S no. No. How do escape pods work in this? Is the type of thing we have to punch a code in for? Or they have to already be open? Or are they, do they remain open at all times? Uh, I have no idea. So Can I, would I say, hack it? I would say you, you would just jump into one. You just jump into one? But you wouldn't get far. You'd be at their mercy and whatnot. No, I'm just curious. Just just as a thought. As a backup to the backup of backups. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of things I actually need to know about the ship that I didn't, I don't, I don't. Mm-hmm. Tobias, lock up our ship with everything you have. Make it impossible for them to get into it. Break well, the course. lock if you have to. Of course, sir. And I uh, hit a singular button on a data pad that I have that <clears throat> automatically scripts this whole operation. Because I knew it was coming. Okay. I, I look at him. And I go, does that data pad break? Does that data pad activate the bomb, or is that just our cons? Uh, as I, I snap the data pad over my knee. It was just the, the lock of the ship. Ah, beat me to it. Let's go have ourselves a nice little conversation, I guess. Okay, uh... uh you, you walk through the halls, getting to the... their... turbo lift, passing a whole bunch of Mirror Universe people just glaring at you. Mm. As as we're walking by, I'm waving at each person, like John F. Kennedy, full handedly smiling, every single one of them. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, you reach the turbo lift. You tell Bridge, and he goes whoosh. Whoosh. Uh. And door opens up, and you're on the bridge of the Ares. And in front of you, you see... I'm assuming we're unarmed. Are you unarmed? I mean, if I'm in the wheelchair still, there was a rifle in there, but he'd be carrying a rifle with him. I'm definitely unarmed. Okay, so... Uh, you see Strahd getting up from his captain chair. Uh, there is... Three security uh, dudes uh, aiming at you. Ah, welcome to the bridge of my ship. Howdy, how you doing? Uh, way too cheery. Like, me, way too cheery. Like, something's wrong. Don't know if he'll know that. 
I don't know if you need to roll for him to figure that out. <laughs> uh, he just looked confused and uh, yes. Uh, so, what do I owe the pleasure of you being on my ship? I don't know. Yeah, tried to kill us with one of our own. Uh, you're trying to destroy the planet that's the home Starfleet. Um, you've basically made our captain seem incompetent, which I'll give you, kind of is. Um, you killed one of our best friends, Tobias's assistant. I can't remember his name, but you know who. Croyl. Croyl, Crewman Croyl. Thank you, Tobias. I. So I think we have a couple debts we owe you. Hmm. And and you think you think the Federation's all innocent in all this? Absolutely not. Kind of like the old America, we have massacred thousands of people in the name of like cultivating, colonizing. I know that, but this is literally personal. There's a difference. I... You're going after your yours is a righteous act of fury and vengeance based upon the entire actions of an entire culture. Mine is your actions. You, an independent. Hmm. Very well. Uh, so what? what is your plan? Why, one, would I tell you? Because you wouldn't tell me all yours, would you? Touche. Two... I don't really have a plan. Just wide-eyed, like bug-eyed, staring at him, smiling. Uh, he's gonna inside chuck you because he's <laughs> <laughs> going this long with you being that cheerful is unsettling him. Um, I would need you to roll a, um... Insight? Con? Uh, it would probably be command and... Okay, so I rolled a command and insight. Right, so it would counter that. So I would think it would be command plus... Presence. Okay. Or control. Uh, one. I'll take control. Uh, can I'm trying to think what would work here. <laughs> no, none of those felt okay. <laughs> I'm just reading through all my things. Um. So just roll two dice and tell me what, tell me successes you get. Mm-hmm. I got one fail, one success. Cool, you beat his two failures. <laughs> they got failed? I uh, guess. What'd you roll? I don't know, I just rolled higher than my target number. Who failed, failed. Oh, oh, you have a target number. Oh, okay. His, I said it was his command and insight. So, uh, he seems really unsettled, but he doesn't know why. Like, I can see, I can see that he's flustered. Yes. He's like, well... I just look at, hold on. Just, ah, I see, you're worried. See, you're not used to this, but I'm kind of used to this. I'm used to being on my own and not having a chance. And I'm used to accepting my fate, whether it's life or death. So I'll tell you this. You do anything to me or my friend, and this whole ship will be gone. All of it, you included. You're bluffing. Really? Why don't you try and figure me out then? Because you don't seem to be very good at it. He 
he just stares at you. Do you want to find out if I'm bluffing? Do you have people on this ship you care about? Family, friends, colleagues? You probably made one or two, even for a prick like you. And yeah, that rhyme, Dr. Seuss, motherfucker. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to provide me and my friend here a way off the ship with the bomb you built. All I know about it. And yeah, we're leaving with it. Mm. Or everyone what? on this ship will die. Uh, you move would... this ship. I blow it up. You'll see how. Don't worry. Security team? I just like, I just look at him and I start just like slowly raising my hand to my comms and I just have it over my heart already. Just like sitting there and I just go, security team what? I see we're at a stalemate. Oh, it's not a stalemate. Because I don't mind dying. There's a difference. My friend here is about the only person I care about on this ship, and he knew what he was getting into along the way. Fuck it. He helped me make it. Isn't that right, Tobias? Uh, 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 uh sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the least of all can answer. <laughs> it could possibly be. So, do you want to destroy the planet you're against, or survive? Because guess what? You're not going to get to do the former. You might get to do the latter. Helm? I just start, like, pushing my finger closer to the button. Set course to Earth. Target Earth. Fire when you're ready. Security team, get them. Push. I was like, I immediately push the button. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. 30 I seconds or otherwise. Because I assume that would work. Yep. Ah, uh, I guess... I guess I will go for the rifle I have? If you want to. I mean, what's the other options? Uh, you could... I don't We've already you, pushed the button. You could try... We're already there. You, you always try to get at, like, away from the bridge. Oh, they're not behind us? No, you, you oh, literally get... Oh, god damn it. I need a map of this next time. I thought that the, when you said there were three guys aiming at us, it was like two at a door, one by him. No, it's... You literally came off the turbo lift onto the bridge. Like, literally it's in back of you. With him being in front of you, and security dudes, like, in front of you. Oh. I guess as he says that, I'll push the button and roll my ass backwards, hoping that Tobias falls in suit. Mm-hmm. Hey, door closes with... As... To, to, pull, it, to pull it into a, a reference, kind of similar to... Because why not? Fuck it. It's cheesy and funny. Very Star-Lord-esque. As he's jumping backwards into the portal. Rolling backwards. Like, push button, roll backwards, flip off. Gonna hope <sighs> that these doors shut faster than they do in the show, basically. Uh, yep, you, if there's a phase, <laughs> you see a couple of phase of fires, like, shoot into it, and then the doors close. Tobias, get us anywhere that has an escaped way. Anything. Doesn't matter. Shuttle pod, anything. This thing's about to blow up. Uh, definitely getting us to the, uh, nearest escape pod. By the, by the way, can, can I caveat something here as yeah. a question? Mm -hmm. Sure. We would, we would know that the bomb is successfully going to detonate, correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we would get a confirmation ping. So we know it's going to detonate. There's no. none of this, they disarmed the bomb, we eject from the ship shenanigans. No, he has no clue. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I failed all the inside checks. Oh. Okay. I mean, 
I was just kind of curious. All right. So, you guys uh, so, come out to... Uh... Tobias has to get us away out of here. Yep. And it's Getting been five seconds, ten seconds. Uh, you come yep. out to a, a hallway. Yep. And you tech... You... Like, you said escape pods, and the ship took you to the nearest, like, deck that had them. You don't technically know where they are. Okay. Oh. Uh, do I have a map of any of any sort? I've asked this question more times in this campaign than I would love to have imagined. I mean, you always ask the computer on the side of the hallway. Computer, locate nearest escape pod. So it shows you, um, it uh, brings up a map of the deck. Sorry, sorry. My Amazon Alexa just went off because I said the word computer. <laughs> because I have it configured to wake on the word computer. <laughs> For that exact reason. Computer. Hello, computer. Um, <laughs> no, it brings up, uh, like, the deck you're on and has, a uh, like, lines going to well, it looks like a uh, external door, which is a which is the shuttle uh, sh the escape pod. Uh, I guess we're uh, down the hall, you see one uh, Mary Universe dude. I'm guessing in our way between us and that. Mm-hmm. Can we shoot at him? Uh, as as I I'm going to roll, like my wheelchair as fast as I can, towards the dude. Cause I'm still in outfit, right? Like yeah. we still look like it. Yeah. Does, mm. does everyone know what we look like, or is it just the captain? Uh, hmm. He did. He, he didn't have like, a announcement, and they didn't give out your descriptions. For the love of God, they're massacring the bridge! Rolling towards him. They took my legs! My friend got me a wheelchair! I've got to get to med! I'm going for a bluff. Yep. Let's see if it's better than, it's better than Tobias' bluff. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit! Um, Most likely. We'll see. I mean, who knows? I might be bad at it. I forget what the bluff was. It was a... No, that's never that's never used. That's the fucking that's so upsetting. What? Con. con I don't know a situation flying. we use con. It's no, I know, but we've never had to use flying. I know. God damn it. Command and presence. Difficulty and of presence. three. Since All right. you they since you know, you never you don't seem familiar. I'm gonna fail and crit fail. Really? Wait, did you actually crit fail? Yeah, yeah. I got a 18 and a 20. Good night. So, uh, <laughs> it's like a like, little fail either. It's a big one. Like, he literally like, as you attempt to roll past him, he actually grabs a chair and. Knocks you out of the chair. Hmm. Uh, he's like, what? You're, you're not part of this ship. Don't you recognize me? I'm a crewman. What was the name of the guy? Do, do we ever get O'Donnell. names off these guys? No, not O'Donnell. Oh. The other dudes. The, the, the red shirts. You never got names. <sighs> we... We were... Did they have names? Did we just miss them? Uh, I don't, I don't remember. remember. Or did, we all, or did I... we all just kind of go like they don't need names? They're irrelevant. Uh, I think a little option A, a little option B. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. I mean, you got you never actually did ask for their names. Yeah, the names. Yeah. I would have made up names on the spot, but you never asked for names. Yeah. They're just enemy number one and number two. I guess I'll just look at. Them. Don't you recognize me? I'm Josh. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I think at this point it'd be at the twenty second mark. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Is there anything uh, Tobias wants to do? Well, uh, try to get past him. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're just gonna leave, George? No, no, I'm trying to get this guy down <laughs> so that George and I can both get going quickly. Oh, okay. I thought you said you were going to pass. I was say, go, go for a tackle? Yeah, basically. Or wait, if he's distracted by me, you could Vulcan neck pinch him and maybe fucking finally get something out of that. Uh, yes. Yes, that is a good idea. Uh, can I Vulcan neck pinch him? Yes, but I don't know the stats on the Vulcan Nudge Pinch. Uh, it's somewhere. I... No results for Vulcan Neck. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm on the wrong thing. No, yeah, no, no results for Vulcan Neck. Vulcan nerve pinch. Oh, yeah, here it is. Um, so it'd be a melee attack. Okay. That you With a use... difficulty of one. Actually, it's a the melee melee attack. So it would be. Daring and security with the difficulty of yes one. Um, okay. You may use science medicine instead of security when attempting a nerve pinch attack. Yeah, I just read that. Okay. Um. You may increase damage by your science or medicine instead of security. Uh, my science and medicine are the same, so I actually would rather go with my security if that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, is it security and daring? Yes. Okay, that's two successes. Hey, we got a thing. Did you get the thing? Mm -hmm. We got a momentum back. Mm -hmm. okay. And I can now Vulcan nerve pinch this guy. Um, Send him flop it, flop it to the ground. Looks like it's four damage dice. Yes. And then it's intense. So, let me roll my 4d6. That is a 6, a 5, a 3, and a 2. 6, 5, 3, 2? Mm-hmm. 4 damage. Sweet. 4 damage, 2 effect, which intense. Which I think intense is just, it's also, it also counts as 2. I'm trying to get there now. Uh... Intense. Inflict massive harm on the target, incapacitating them far more swiftly. Cost to avoid injury caused by intense weapon increases by one for each effect. Hmm. Um, I think they avoid the... You only did four damage, so... Hmm. But, uh, since you, ner you, since you successfully nerf-pinched him anyway, he is mm -hmm. now on the ground. Next to, uh, Josh. I, I, I grab Josh by the shoulder. Let's go. What, do you, you pick me up prom style? Can I? I mean, I think you might have to. I mean, again, I said, like I said, I don't know that I can run. I could maybe try. Mm. Daddy, throw me back in the wheelchair. Can I throw you back in the wheelchair? Sure, let's do that. Just quick. Alright. This is like 30 seconds. The longest TV 30 seconds you've ever seen. Heck yes. Uh, is, I throw you back this, in the wheelchair. Isn't that how, isn't, isn't how it works, though? Yeah, it's pretty much how it works. Yep. I'm, I'm going to throw him back in the wheelchair and start heading. Okay, you, start heading uh, to it. You uh, get to the door. Ass. Get door in time. 
but it seems there's a security lockout. Uh, can I override the security lockout? You can attempt to. Okay, I would like to over attempt to override the security and lockout. Engineering and control. Okay, engineering and control. I'd like to burn uh, that uh, momentum. momentum. Yep. Difficulty? Three. Okay, I'd like to use my computers and computer expertise, focus, and talent, respectively. So I roll a total of four dice and have an extended crit range. Yep, up to your thing. Uh, that is two crit successes, followed by two crit successes, four crit successes to get Whoa, us through the, the, the security. You, what'd you just roll? Two, two, three, and four. <laughs> my crit range is up to four, thanks right. to my uh, my talent. Uh, is, so we have out of here the in the most stylish way possible. The, we have the five. security. The security lockout is a joke. <laughs> The password was password. <laughs> it wasn't even that. It was like one, two, three, four, five. There it it's is. The same combination as my luggage. <laughs> Perfect. So, oh, you file in and you get launched. Uh, after about five seconds, you see a uh, explosion where the shuttle bay is. Cool. Are we cool guys who don't look at the explosions? Uh, oh, I'm fucking looking at this shit. I don't give a shit. I'm finding out. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm curious. I like fireworks. Okay, then. Uh, chain reaction, and you see... And since the bomb was on the ship... There's gonna be a bigger explosion radius... Than you guys expected. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. I mm. expected the whole thing to be kind of... OTC, yeah. out of commission. Well, no, it's probably worse than that. So, literally, uh, you see a shockwave coming at you, coming at you. By the way, I'm going to be the one flying in this, because it's the only time I might actually get to use this. Totes. Oh. You actually want to roll stuff? I mean, it's up to you, man. Oh. I feel bad if I don't let you roll stuff now. Cause it's gonna have some Deus Ex shit happen here, but uh, sure. Uh, you want to do? Just so you're flying. It will be. Are we on a shuttle? Shuttle? Escape pod? Escape pod? Escape pod? Escape pod? Smaller so, than a shuttle. So super tiny. Super tiny. How do you know those have controls? Uh, they have like maneuvering thrusters. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it would be a. Con and control, maybe control difficulty of four. Let's rock all five of those extras we got. Mm. Uh, I'm assuming I'm trying to outrun the explosion. Uh, yeah. So I got transporter small craft. Okay. And I got push the limits. I've never got a chance to use this. Uh, seems appropriate. Let me just double check. Was that a talent or a... Uh, one was a talent, one's a focus. So the focus is small craft, the talent is... Pushing the limits? Uh, push the... Uh, I'm misspelling push, that's why it's not finding them, I'm guessing. Hmm. When you attempt a contest that has increased integrity due to environmental condition or damage to the... Oh. No, 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 no. I would, I would say that it's four because of you know an explosion coming right at you. Hmm. So, so it still kind of counts. So it'll be reduced to three. Okay. So then it's a three, and so I'm rolling. I'm taking all of our dice. I'm rolling five dice. Um. How many momentum did you spend? Uh, we had five because we spent. We spent. So uh, you spent one. We spent one. Two, then three. Jeff. Then the the thing was a three, and Jeff rolled. Uh, you you four only crits. get two extra because remember it's sequenced up. Like you use one momentum to get one. If you want a second one, it takes two. If you want three, it takes three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you need six to do three. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I'm off by one. Mm -hmm. My math is bad. Okay. 
All right, so yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do two extra then. Fine. That's that's all right. Two extra, one less on that, and then so I'm rolling four for this. Mm-hmm. And then crit range is extended out to my con, which is five. And it's only three because you're pushing the limits, and right. It just seems so, appropriate. Four dice. Seven, eleven, two. That's two successes and a crit success. And then a 19. Thank God you weren't a 20. <laughs> so you got the crit. Two... So it's four. Four, yeah. So one, one over. We're at four. You successfully just... Three? Three. It's a, it's a very bumpy, turbulence ride, but... It's just in my own head. You, you like... to the limit. I was gonna say, you're literally like grading, like it's you're like surfing a wave in space. <laughs> Listening to uh, humming uh, yeah, whatever that song was. Push it to the limit. I actually don't know enough of it to hum it, to be honest. Mm-hmm. I'm better off using the final countdown and just going. Doo-doo, doo-doo. Like a madman. Okay. Sorry. Well, you successfully stopped them. Although, at this point, you have no idea what their ultimate plan was. I mean, blowing up the earth was about all I cared to stop. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's pretty... I guess that, I guess that is... The main thing, <laughs> but you don't know why. But I guess, yes. that, I guess that doesn't matter, <laughs> even though it kind of does. Kind of does. Anywho, uh, you spend a couple hours just floating in space after being pushed back by the explosion shockwave. And are eventually rescued by the Motley. Sweet. We sent the the hailing beacon and everything. Yep. Uh, they they successfully got to Earth, just in case, and everything was just great. Sweet. So they eventually. Uh, I guess they would register the explosion. Because it's that close. Mm-hmm. There, there may not, there may no, there is definitely no longer a moon around Neptune. Uranus. Whatever. Or Uranus. Um, I forgot we made it Uranus. Yeah. Oops. Mm-hmm. I literally wrote it down. Yeah. So we can keep continuity in my little story. Hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, you get rescued, uh, you are, you guys are commended, given, uh, medals of honor, Hooray. and I would say that you guys get a rank increase. However. So I think Kyle was commander, so he would immediately bump up to a uh, captain. Oh, good. More responsibility. It's about what my character would feel like. To... <laughs> and, then, and I would think that you were a lieutenant commander. Mm-hmm. So now you're not. You're now a commander. Hooray. And I'm still head of engineering. Mm-hmm. Still chief engineer. You just have a rank increase. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, eventually, Teles is reinstated as the captain captain of the ship when the admiral eventually leaves. And you guys are, uh, Or, uh, uh, the ship goes back to 
Earth for, you know, maintenance and repair from this whole situation. And... Yeah, the, the scene ends with you guys just walking off into a sunset in San Francisco. Towards a burrito shop? No, a good uh, shop on the mission. Yeah, we can go uh, check it out. I was going to say, you walk towards a <clears throat> familiar looking taco stand. Oh, if only we had Andy here for that. Yeah. I mean, if Andy was here, we could have had the ending I wanted. 36. Yeah, yeah. But it gave up halfway through. So. I just kept his character around for. Just having him around. Mm -hmm. Just in case. And that ends the first season of this test. Yay. Of Star Trek Adventures. Mis mm -hmm. Misadventures. Mm hmm. Definitely that. Um, Definitely misadventures. I, I will know. say, goddamn Jeff, don't ever try to lie. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I yep. literally wrote down that if you guys fucked that up, they would be on to you and send someone to meet you. Yeah. Hey, man. We got it working. Hey, we George. We made it out alive. Uh, okay, hey, with Commander George. Who's Commander George? I'm just like sitting there laying on the map game like motherfucking fuck. Damn it. Like, I feel like my character is like eventual but oh, fuck it, we're gonna die. Literally eventually it just comes from like being defeated at every corner because of small hiccups or miscoms. Like hmm. when you said you landed in the shuttle bay, I was like, Oh, the shuttle bay door's still open. <sighs> and then I'm thinking it back to it and I'm like, Oh shit, Mike might have said as the shuttle bay doors closed behind you. I was like, Fuck hmm. I didn't think of that. Also, I didn't realize about the small ship with the shields thingy. Yeah, I technically didn't remember that either. Technically, we may have just retconned that because of... Okay. But yeah. Don't know how the escape pod would work or not work in that situation. I'm assuming escape pods would go through because they're friendly, but... It said anything, No idea. So... Yeah, anyway. Anywho, so... That ends the first season. Hooray. I don't know if you want to continue with these characters. You gotta, you gotta let me know. and Or you want to start off with new characters. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'll think so, about it for a little bit. The thing is, you're now captain and commander. Ugh. I think that's actually... So, I think that part of the downfall to this system is that whole you need X amount of players to really play it. I know, that's that's the difficulty we're having right now. Like, that's a lot of what we had. Like, I never got to use any of my con stuff. I didn't get to fly a ship, except for the end there. You know, like, I wasn't piloting, it wasn't important. I'm trying, but it's kind of hard. I, I Yeah, yeah, but with only two of us, you, you shouldn't be expected to try and figure that out. The game is literally not built around it. And then, like, then there was, there was other little things where it's like, hey, I don't know shit about Star Trek. Like, I, I, I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't know if these, you know, if shuttlecrafts have weapons or shields or whatever. Like, I don't, I actually don't know these things off the top of my head. I don't remember ever seeing a shuttlecraft fire a weapon in the show, but it might have. Uh, not Possibly. in the show, but in Star Trek Online. In Star Trek Online? Oh, okay. So there's like a lot of those little things. Sorry about sorry about de derailing you at any point, Mike. I didn't mean to be a dick. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so just let me know uh, if you guys want to continue with these characters or uh, mm -hmm. or the Star Trek Academy idea. I like the Academy idea because I feel like you can build the Academy idea without having because uh, that would mostly giant quotes around this, eliminate the ship side of things? For a little bit. For a little bit at least, right? So it'd make it a little easier overall for us to know what we're doing and like I'll, what's available and what's I'll, I'll try to have like, a story arc on the Academy. Mm. Uh, I'll try to get you on a ship once in a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
during that, and then eventually you guys just get assigned to a trip. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. I also like the I also like the D and D idea because I think you you have a I think you have a like a really good grasp of the D and D mechanics and like what you can and can't do. 